Welcome to RCC News. I'm Jeff Raymond, Council's Waste and Environment Education Officer. In this video, you're going to see what you can and can't place out in your council curbside cleanups and how much can be placed out. I'll also show you what items can make you money. All the information in this video is in your annual waste and cleansing services guide. Each household is entitled to place out three cubic metres per cleanup as prescribed within the waste and cleansing services guide, which is about one box trailer load or the size of three washing machines put together. You cannot invite your friends or family over to throw out items. If you are caught doing this, you may face prosecution. Council currently has four cleanups per household per year. Items can only be placed outside no earlier than the Saturday or later than the Sunday before your collection begins. Otherwise, it will be treated as illegally dumped material and penalties may apply. Make sure your items are stacked neatly on the outer edge of the nature strip in front of your property in line with Council's Waste and Cleansing Services Guide. If your items spill over onto the footpath, you will block pedestrian access and fines may apply. Also, do not place any items in the gutter. Do not place dangerous items such as gas cylinders or liquids. They won't be collected. Furthermore, these items are even more dangerous if a child walks past and picks them up and plays with them. Place your items in neat piles. Small items can be placed in boxes. This makes it easier for the cleanup crew to pick up items. Garden clippings should either be tied together or placed in a box or plastic bag. Thorny items like roses or bougainvillea can only be left out for collection if they are in boxes. This way, it's safer for the cleanup crew to pick up. Although we will collect items like washing machines, we cannot collect refrigerators or freezers due to the materials they are made from. But later in this video, we'll show you what to do with your old refrigerator or freezer. Now, let's take a detailed look at what you can and can't put out for your cleanups. If you have a large amount of rubbish you need to get rid of, you can order a special on-call cleanup service from Council. This is a user pay system and is available on Fridays. Heavy items must be able to be lifted by two people safely. Or you can visit the waste transfer station in Lindsay Street, Rockdale. Fees apply. At this site, you can also get rid of items like refrigerators and freezers. If you have empty and dry paint tins, you can leave them out for the cleanups. We can only collect empty and dry tins as they won't splatter in the truck and leak onto the road. If you have a little bit of paint in your tin, here's what you can do. Get a brush and paint some newspaper like this to use the paint. Leave the newspaper to dry and leave the tin open so it dries inside. Once it's dry, it's safe to leave for your scheduled cleanup. However, if you have a fair bit of paint left in your tins, you can pour all the paint into one tin and take it to the Lindsay Street Transfer Station. Fees apply. Or you can place some old rags in a plastic container and pour the paint over them. Let them dry completely and then place them out for your scheduled cleanup. Illegal dumping affects us all because it costs ratepayers money to have it removed. Here dangerous items such as small blocks of wood with nails have been dumped. If you see someone illegally dumping, do not approach them. Instead, report the matter to council for follow-up. Anyone caught illegally dumping may be prosecuted. If you have a large amount of green waste, you can drop it off for free at our Bexley Depot located at 14 Rye Avenue on the first Saturday of each month. You will need to produce either your driver's licence or rates notice to access this free service. Our staff will help you empty your green waste from your vehicle or trailer into the back of the compactor trucks. We can't keep any boxes or bags, so these items will be returned to you. If you have any scrap metal, places like Sims Metal will pay you for it. Under the fridge buyback program, you can get money for your second working fridge. Some conditions apply. For details, visit Council's website. If you have items that are in good condition, there are many organisations that will happily accept them. This has been an RCC News production and is copyright. RCC News is produced by the City Media and Events Unit. Gordana Griosca speaking.